Hi guys, so uh, today I decided to vlog. I'm just finishing my coffee um, and in 10 minutes my aunt and my cousin Linda will come over. They will pick me up and we will all go to the horse riding center because Linda has a class and my aunt uh, decided that she wants to take riding classes as well. And unfortunately they have only two horses for you know riding lessons. Um, so what we decided to do, because I'll have no horse left for me, we will all go together, they will ride, I will wait for them, and then they will wait for me to ride. Uh, and this morning I had to wake up really early because um, we had some errands to run, we had to bring my brother's car to the service. Then we went to like a little city outside Klepele because I found this wardrobe online uh, for my studio and I bought it today. This is what it looks like. Um, here it is, just a simple white wardrobe. I'll show it to you guys in my studio. We brought the wardrobe there because I need to have a separate wardrobe for my own clothing. I know it don't ask, but this is one of the requirements from hygiene. You have to have a wardrobe for your upper clothes. It cannot be on the same hanger as the clothes of, you know, your clients. So anyway, I got the wardrobe. I have to pack um, a choker. A girl bought my white Bianca choker yesterday from New Jersey, US. Actually, two girls placed an order from New Jersey. And yes, if you guys don't know already, I posted that on Instagram, but some of you may not follow me. I started selling my uh, lace chokers on Etsy. So here is the name of my Etsy shop. It's called uh, Atelier de Yves. I'm so happy that you guys like them. That's just amazing. So you have to wrap the choker now. I'll show you my stash. I still have some other colors left. So here are all of the packages that I need to ship out today. Here's some present I bought from my boyfriend. I have to ship it out to him as well. And yeah, the girl bought the Bianca choker today, which was actually the very first choker I ever made. Um, so yeah, I'll write a note right now. So I didn't get to ride today again. <laughs> but my aunt um, rode for the first time and my cousin, my cousin is very good already. So proud of her. So next time we'll ride, all three of us. Hi, Hi Linda. Let's look at her reaction. The weather is so gloomy, like it's so rainy and so windy, it's just terrible. I think it's 15 degrees or something. I framed these two uh, prints that I got in Paris finally. So I got these frames in Hermitages. Um, they were 30% off and they're just so gorgeous and I just love how they came out. So, so this is the second one, Christian Dior. They're so beautiful, I love them. And I think I might hang them in the studio, but I'm not sure. They look pretty in my room as well, but I want to hang this one here. I still haven't done that, so this print just sits here. And by the way, I recently got this book, which is called The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. I heard really good things about this book, and I got a secondhand book because we have this shop in Klepera on Tilde Street called Retro Books and there's another one which is like Comis where you can find a bunch of old books so I got this one for let's see for 2 euros 32 cents which is a really good price and the condition of the book is not too bad so yeah I might start buying more uh, secondhand books and this one is in English but they had a really poor section of English books but I managed to find this one, which I cannot wait to read. I'm currently uh, reading Burial Rites. I'm halfway through it. Um, yeah, I think this will be my next book. By the way, guys, I've been really liking this Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara from L'Oreal. It is really volumizing and I just love the effect it gives to my lashes and I want to share this with you guys. I managed to find one more body shop. Uh, this is not the bronzer but the blush. So I have this bronzer in number four which I've been talking so much about. I just 
seriously adore this bronzer it is gorgeous but it's sold out pretty much everywhere I mean you can still find it online I think you can buy it on Beauty Bay for 27 euros or something like that which I think is ridiculous because this went on sale here for 10 euros but because I had some points in my card I got this blush for only 7 euros and I just couldn't believe it look at it isn't it gorgeous I'm just so extremely happy I managed to find it. Uh, I got the last one um, in Sarma shop. It's so stunning. It kind of makes me think of Charlotte Tilbury, you know, the rose gold packaging and the um, color scheme. So I'm gonna try it on for the first time today. Let me place the camera here. So I'm just gonna swirl my brush and apply it on my cheekbones. It is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's just, it gives such a lovely peachy warm color to your cheeks, it's just gorgeous. It's so unfair how it sold out so quickly, they should bring more stock in. I love the bronzer and now I love this blush as well, it just, oh, it looks like a really expensive high-end blush, right? I'll powder my face, I really need a new powder my favorite for every day I think on my lips I'm gonna wear Erotique by L'Oreal why not oh this lipstick is everything it's gorgeous today I'm just wearing this Art Deco eyeshadow in 26 Gemma Kid eyeshadow in crime in my tear duct the Art Deco blush bronzer thingy. It looks so, so beautiful. A retique on my lips, uh, Maybelline eyebrow pencil and uh, Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation and some Maybelline powder. Now I'm just gonna put on my jewelry. I think I will wear this top and my leggings because it covers my bum and I'm gonna wear my beige coat on top because I just love my Forever 21 leggings. I just live in them pretty much. Guys, I want to show you absolutely incredible jewelry I just received. So the brand is called Sisim. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's a girl that um, I met on Instagram and she is from Spain and she just started her own jewelry line. Like literally, she just launched the website this month and all of her pieces are just ridiculously beautiful. They're so so incredible dainty gold jewelry just exactly as i like it and the prices are very reasonable in my opinion as well so she left me a really lovely note definitely check out her website and that's so sweet of her she also included this lip balm for me which is she said it's a very uh, popular spanish lip balm so it comes in a minty uh, tin and then the lip balm itself is lilac colored and it smells really nice actually very, very floral and this lip balm reminds me of my teenage years because these used to be quite popular here i know my uh, best friend used to use this lip balm all the time and it kind of br brings back the memories from the teenage years so anyways i'm gonna show you guys what jewelry i got from her so this is the drop ring i believe i'm gonna link all of the pieces i have down below and this ring was my favorite piece from her line it's just so incredibly beautiful isn't it it sparkles like a diamond i mean the crystal is just so 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 sparkly it is gorgeous then she sent me this bracelet actually i chose two items from her website but she also included this bracelet for me which is just a gorgeous thin a gold bangle and then i chose this necklace which is just so beautiful so it's like a little gold disc with a crystal in the middle and it just looks so elegant, so simple and just perfect. I think these are the pieces that I will wear every single day now. I really, really hope that they will not tarnish and won't change the color. You can see how sparkly the crystal is. It's crazy. So yeah, as I said, I really hope the, the jewelry won't tarnish. I'm afraid to even uh, wet it with water uh, while washing hands because I really don't want to ruin the jewelry. But yeah, I think these are going to be my everyday pieces the necklace is just perfect for everyday so i will definitely be placing more orders in the future i want those um like open hoop earrings and then another ring which is called hug ring thank you brunetta so much 
for uh, a sweet gift and for this lip balm as well. You're so, so lovely. What the hell is happening here? Oh my god. Never saw this happen ever before. So I just announced the winners of my Panela Magazine giveaway on my Instagram. I hope you guys want mine but I took them out of the packaging because I wanted to sign them for you so that the magazines would be a little bit more special with a personal touch. Okay, I'm done. I sent out all of the chokers. I sent present to my boyfriend and I sent uh, one Panela magazine to Turkey. So I have two others to send out still and I had an incident in the post office Whoa, like my hands were shaking because I was like so Pissed off, but I remained really calm and I didn't react too much There was this couple and in the post office there was only one uh, lady working. She's the sweetest Like whenever I come to the post office and I see her working. I'm like, yes because she's the nicest woman ever. She's so kind and so lovely. And um, so basically I was the first one and there was this guy, the couple, and the guy started getting so angry because I had so many packages to send out. And uh, when you come to the post office, you get a sticker that you need to declare. So she gave me a few to have like, you know, to fill out in advance because usually you come to the post office, if you send to US, uh, or even uh, to countries that are not in European Union, you have to fill out a sheet like that and they stick on the parcel. You know, you, you're supposed to say what it is, what's the price, yada, yada, yada. And so I was filling these things and the guy started like going crazy. He was like, what the hell? What are all those rules? We're supposed to wait now until she will fill out all of those sheets. What the hell? Why she couldn't do it at home? And I was like, calm down, you know, it's, you're supposed to do it in the post office. I cannot do it at home. He started calling me like fucking bitch. Why you couldn't do it at home? Like you're like, yeah, basically he started like cursing on me. And I was like, I said, chill out, dude. Like, what's your problem? You know, calm down. Don't tell me what to do. And I remained calm and like, you know, collected. But he was like, I thought he will burst. He was so mad on everyone. The lady was also telling him to calm down. She said, we are supposed to have lunch breaks and that's why I'm working alone. My colleagues are not here. She said, chill out. You know, it's, it's the rules. It is what it is. And I was like, whoa, this guy is mental, so. Yeah, I sent, and he was like, what the fuck, you're sending stuff to everyone? Do you want to send a Lithuanian flag to America or you want to send it to someone? Put it, put it inside your packaging. So at one point it got even funny, like I was laughing to myself because this guy was so mental and just, I don't know, like a retarded guy, it's so hot tempered. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna shake it off and not care about it because, you know, he's a total asshole. And um, yeah, I'm really glad I sent out most of the packages. I stopped renting my PO box, so they said to come uh, next month to check there, if there might be any like letters or something um, addressed to you, so I'll check that. And if you wanna send me cards or, or letters, you can do that, uh, the address is down below. Now you can send it to my studio address. I'm not renting a PO box anymore. Uh, I really need coffee. I need coffee to like feel at peace. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go to Max and get myself a roasted hazelnut latte and then... Yeah, I don't know. I'll catch up with you guys. Guys, so I'm in Harkos Galeria. I just got my coffee. Here is the perfume shop that I love. It's called Charm and Luxury. Here they sell niche perfumes. And um, yeah, I want to show you the perfumes that they have here. Definitely come here because I'm friends with this man. He's so sweet. He always says, hi Eva, come over. I'll show you new fragrances. So he ha has um, Lacte de Saint Parfumer perfumes. This is my favorite Premier Figure. He has like really exclusive fragrances. He has Florius. And they're just all so beautiful. Look, this is Irish brand. The brand is called Rhodes. So interesting to see an Irish brand. And let me tell you which is my favorite. Um, it smells like peaches to me. 
Mm, not sure which one it was. Bitter and this one. And here, look at these ones. I'm sure, these are Italian. Yeah, from uh, Venice. So, come here to get your perfumes. I got my coffee. It just instantly makes me feel so happy. And I smell so incredibly good right now. Actually, I should do that more often. I should wear more perfume. Usually, I do like two spritzes. The owner of this fragrance shop, he sprayed so much perfume on me because uh, I like the Nuit de Tubereuse, I believe it's called Night Tuberose Night by Lactisan Parfumeur and it smells like tuberose which is one of my favorite flowers as well and it, he just sprayed it all over me I did like one spritz and he said no like use a lot of it it's just like a very feminine floral scent it's so beautiful uh, and it's one of my favorite brands for sure Lactisan Parfumeur um, and yeah, he gave me the sample, it's called Timbuktu, a wild bewitching mysterious potion with woody overtones and spices from afar. So I'm interested in trying this one out. And by the way, his shop is like right next to Max Coffee, so I usually take my coffee, sniff some perfumes and um, you're good to go. So, oh, it smells so beautiful. Okay, now where am I going? I think I'm going to this printing place to make some more flyers. I have made flyers, but I need to cut them. So I cut my flyers. This time they're pink. Last month they were like a soft peachy color. This month I made them in a pale pink color. And I really like them. So uh, you also get 30% off for your makeup the whole month of July so the weather is so shitty like look at that it's raining cats and dogs it's insane I just want to stay snug inside the house under a blanket with a cup of tea and either read my book or watch a movie or something and today I wore my beautiful system jewelry this necklace which uh, I think it's sold out already and the ring as well probably sold out they're just so beautiful and the bracelet, so I wear it all today and I just love the sound that it makes. It's little things in life, I guess. I find the sound very satisfying. I checked my email and I saw three new orders for my lace chokers. I sold um, my last Bianca choker and two Hera chokers, which is the black one. I'll go downstairs, make myself a cup of tea. And I also got these pens today. I got this one, which is Link Candy. And it's a very, very thin blue pen. And I love when pens are thin. I like 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 pens. And this one seemed really nice. And then I got these pastel ones. Oh, I love this one. It's like a beautiful peachy pink color. <laughs> Yay! I just finished making my chokers. I made um, seven Aphrodite chokers, gold hardware, and six Artemis chokers. And I'm so pleased with myself, but my hand hurts so much. You can see it's so red and sore here, and this finger as well. Um, yeah, because you gotta press really hard on uh, these things. So it really hurts right now, but that will pass. And uh, I'm wearing my Artemis choker, which kind of blends with my skin tone and looks almost invisible. And I really like this look. I think it looks so beautiful with just dainty gold jewelry. So yeah, you can chop these now. <laughs> At the moment I have them in stock. Not sure how long it will last. So I'm running myself a bath and now it's the exciting time when I get to choose a bath bomb. And I think I'm gonna use this one, which is called Sex Bomb, because I wanted to try it for the longest time. I just love Lush Bath Mmm, and it smells so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the color. It's like lilac and pink. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It really excites me. 